um, I'll be going to Mr. Shields for two and a half minutes. Mr. Chair, and thank you for the witnesses being here, and thank you for uh, that statement about despite the ministers publicly acknowledging federal responsibility for water crisis, they continue to support a completely contrary position in court. That came from Manitoba Federation yesterday. Appreciate that. Um, when I look at this legislation, I see the Canadian government, the provincial government, the Canadian Water Commission, and the Indian Water Commission. No matter what you say with this legislation, we're not going to fix the water crisis tomorrow. We're going to be in court for years. You know that. So if this legislation says we empower the government to build water treatment plants in cooperation with every nation in the country starting tomorrow, we set up regional training centers with support staff to train water treatment people that are available 24-7. If we set up a system where supplies for those water treatment plants are available just like emergency transfer for health is so that you have a fly-in plane to bring a part to you immediately. If we had legislation that said that, we could start fixing those problems quickly. This legislation tells me we're going to be in court and tied up for years, and you're not going to get clean drinking water for years. We need to change legislation, so we're doing action now. This legislation doesn't do it. It's going to tie us up in court for years across many jurisdictions. I want the water fixed now. Don't you? Yeah. This legislation isn't going to do it. This so is just going to tie us up in court. I'm not sure if there was a, a direct question in that. Uh, I understand. I'm I've listened to people. I know the issue. I know what water treatment plants are. I've been in that business. We can fix this if this legislation did that. It doesn't do it. It ties us up with water commissions, indigenous and Canadian, provincial and federal governments. We're all going to be in court. That doesn't give you clean drinking water and doesn't start it. Order. Uh, Point of order, uh, Mr. McLeod. Yeah, you know, Mr. Chairman, I know, I know Martin is excited and uh, is on a roll, but uh, he's not speaking to the mic, so people like me that have hearing issues, it's hard to follow. Sorry. <laughs> I think I was pretty clear. <laughs> I'm very frustrated. I'm frustrated with legislation that I believe is just going to end up in court fighting jurisdiction and jurisdiction and jurisdiction. And people, there isn't a process in this legislation that allows for it to move forward, to start building water treatment plants, training staff, having equipment ready, parts delivered. Um, <laughs> that's what needs to be done. This legislation is just going to set up court action, disputes, years of legal wrangling. I want to see something happen. So she can drink clean water out of a tap. So you can wash your kids in a bathtub in your community and not fear that they're going to die from some cancer-related issue. That's what we need to fix. Thank, thank you very oh, much, thank uh, you. Mr. Shields. Uh, no, th that thank you. I'm just going to say something on that, and I'm going to give you both heck, right? Because the Liberals and the Conservatives, the Conservatives had a 2013 bill that we had to repeal. And that's why we're here. So we're trying to fix that through this. I know that we have a long way to go. But I think you're you're both at fault. I'm just gonna yeah. I'm just gonna and if if I can, um, my knowledge keeper here has been in First Nations for working for us for his entire life, and so I'd like to give him the honor and respect that for him to say a few words. Thank you, well, National Chief uh, Chair. Um, I've been at this for for quite a while, as National Chief says, uh, since uh, 2006, and before that, the with Chiefs of Ontario on the Walkerton tragedy. Uh, during my time at the AFN, uh, we had the opportunity to meet with the former um, Minister Prentice, um, uh, bless his soul, and when, we, when he was quizzed on what it will take to, to sort out this problem, and he said, it's a matter of money, and, and it's all of this. It's a matter of money and will of the government to put their will, will and effort into addressing what you just mentioned, uh, Mr. Shields. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Shields. Uh, next, we will be going to Ms. Atwin for two and a half minutes.